Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bowler. Welcome to my TTM Monday autograph recap video. I'm going to show you my successful returns from last week, the week of December 19th, 2021. I received 40 autographs from 12 people, but I'm going to show you 13 returns. Usually I don't show unsuccessful returns, but this one deserves it because it was a very, very classy move. Also, I received a care package here. Some friend mail from Ed, Angry Old Man. I'll put a link to Ed's channel in the description below. And I think I will actually show his first before I get to the TTMs. So I'll get back to the TTMs here. But Ed, Angry Old Man, good person. Don't want to show the other side of this package as it has his address. But he sent me this really cool package. And um, I saw in a couple other channels he'd been doing it. Ed's a really good guy. Do not let his name of his channel fool you. <laughs> I believe the whole angry old man thing is uh, what his kiddos had called him there. Let me make sure there's nothing personal in this letter here. There we go. Steven, math bowler. May the warmth of the season last throughout the coming year. Merry Christmas. Thank you for being a supporter of the channel and a great member of the card community. Keep up the great videos. All the best, Ed, angry old man. Yeah, if you haven't checked that out, please do so. Um, super nice guy and posts his TTM returns. And uh, let's see, I'm just really curious what he sent. It looks like a photo. Obviously, it has that feeling of a photo. I really wanted to open this all up. I figured I'll just wait till we get to on camera here. Oh, I can tell by the signature. We got Bob Robertson. Uh, Bob Robertson was a member of the 1971 World Series Pirates. Much respect for the packaging job. He put in a top loader as well. Let's get that out so the glare won't be as rough. Oh, yeah. Bob Robertson has a nice signature. Um, when the... Pirates did win the 1971 World Series. Steve Blass jumped into his arms. Oh, look, we got Manny Sanguin in the background there, too. Very cool. Maybe. Nah, we're not going to make a dual sign thing out of here. I'm not going to do that. This is great the way it is. But, yeah, very cool. Ed, that was extremely nice of you. So, I have not sent out any friend mail or care packages during the holidays. Um... It's definitely one of those, yeah, this has to wait till after the holidays, but, uh, yeah, this isn't because of you sending me this, but you were on my list of people to send to, so, yeah. But in any case, man, thank you very much. I appreciate that, Ed. So, like I said, link to his channel down below. On to the TTMs. I've been actively TTMing for over seven and a half years straight. I will let you know how often I've sent to these people, how many items I sent, how often long it took but I will not give you addresses those can easily be found on SCN or SCF I greatly greatly prefer SCN not even close but if you're just getting started in the TTM world SCF is really good for you so let's go ahead and get started here and Brandon Stebbins we have a team 90s challenge in the comments below I'll let you I'll type the uh, in the description below I'll type the names of the returns for team 90s we have nine points this week so Order with which I received them, one of two in 13 days. First time ever receiving from Brian Cam, who signed in like a purplish, pinkish, I guess that'd be magenta, I don't know, um, Sharpie, so very cool. He did not sign my generic autograph card. That's not that common, but there was one other person this week that did as well. Most of these returns are 90s. I've been sending out seven requests a week. And so I'd be 365 requests this year in 2021, plus I did an extra 100 for this Team 90s competition, which these golfers you're seeing, yeah, most all of them are a result of that. So we got four of four in 13 days. Good golfer here. First time I ever sent to Mark O'Mara. Signed this gold stamped version there. Very cool. This looks really nice. Kind of signs at this angle on all the cards, apparently, and that's cool. I like that oversized card. There's a more modern card. Very good. Thank you, Mr. O'Mara. So both of those cards, returns are for Team 90s. There's a point for Team 90s. Three of three in 37 days. Not a golfer. I've sent to this person about five times over the last seven and a half years. We got Merrill Hodge. 
I mean, the Steelers are my local football team. I stopped watching them a few seasons ago, but uh, I can definitely respect these former players for sure. There we go. That's cool, that trading card right there. Not trading card, playing card from a deck of cards. All right, back to the golfers, but this is not going to be Team 90s. These are all more recent cards. Four of four in 13 days. First time ever getting back from Justin Leonard. Wait, I might have received him once before. Ooh, don't hold me to that one. But I do like how Justin Leonard strategically signs in certain spots on these cards. So that was cool. See the dark pants there, and he signed not on them. That very nice. So thank you, Mr. Leonard. All right, this next one is a more or uh, is a 1990s golf return. Here we got three of two in 14 days. First time ever sending this person the extra autograph is going to be the index card, which was actually my note, not the index card that I provide for protection. But we got Steve Hart, and he did sign the back, which does happen. <laughs> he added a little heart to it. That's cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, very nice. Let me just flip this over and not show all the uh, stuff that I write. There we go, Steve Hart. So three of two. That was pretty cool. I never did do the breakdowns. One was, say, 75, maybe as high as 80% of my returns from the autograph card. They do sign the front, but not that all the time. Zero of four, 50 days returned everything, and over the years I have received a lot of returns from this person. This is super classy move by their family. They added an extra stamp. We got the five cards back. Well, some of these would have looked amazing with ink on, especially these post serial cards. But uh, you know, that's nothing to gripe about. I return my money, and this is what they sent. Dear friend, we are so thankful. Well, maybe I shouldn't show you this whole thing on here, but um, pretty much saying, you know, he had passed away on November 23rd. I had mailed out those cards on November 1st, so just over three weeks beforehand, and uh, this was so cool of them. They enclosed this copy of Bill Verdon's Rules of Baseball, which I will definitely show this to you. If you don't want to see it, just go ahead and fast forward 20 seconds. I mean, I'm not going to hold that against you. Bill Verdon's Rules of Baseball. I was fortunate to get to do something I really love to do. Be grateful for every opportunity to play ball. Play the game the right way, always. Play hard and hustle, always. Be honest and fair, always. Be friendly and respectful to your teammates, to the other team, and to umpires, always. Remember that people are watching you. You're an example to someone, always. And love, really love this game while you play. Just one more thing. Practice your swing using a pipe. I did in the office season. Probably the smartest thing I ever did. As told by Ethan Bryan, April 2017. So, um, yeah. That was really, really nice. Bill Verdon was a phenomenal TTMer for a long time. I was sending him two, three times a season. A year, and I would alternate donations for them, you know, and, um, yeah. I don't send to people a whole lot, and if I do, like in his case, to me that's a whole lot, two, three times a year. I'd, send, I'd alternate small donations. He didn't ask for them, but I always did. So, uh, yeah, very good. All right. Back on the uh, retur successful returns. You have a golfer for T90s, three of three in 15 days from Morris. Hatalski, I'm going to go with that as his name. Those autograph cards do look nice when they're signed on the front. In that, right on the golf ball there. Very cool. Alright, this next one is a 5 of 3 in 13 days. Signed both index cards. Wait, let me be a little bit careful as I pull this out. I don't want my details that I write to the... Oh, okay, I already flipped the cards over. Okay, good, good. Greg Crafts, who signed in a red Sharpie. It's pretty cool. There's your Team 90s card. And your more modern card. And the autograph card. So a nice mixture of years. And, uh, yep. 
and like I said, he did sign the my note that I gave to him, so there we go. So that's pretty cool. Looks like he doesn't mind signing pretty much everything. I mean, well, in this case, he definitely did. <clears throat> Six of five, 44 days, so this will not be a golf return. I send to this guy once or twice a year, and I'm pretty sure I sent a $5 donation. I mean... I didn't write down that I did, but to send five things, to, yeah, I, I'm I'm very confident, but I got to go with my paperwork, <clears throat> and I'm going to say I did not, but I'm pretty sure I did. I don't send five cards too often, unless if it's someone who just always racks them up. We got Dave Justy. There's another member of the 1971 World Series. Left-hand pitcher. Right-hand pitcher, my bad. Anyway, um, there's the Milton Bradley card. Here he's a member of the Astros. As a member of the Padres, and was this one the Colts? Colt 45s, yep, there we go. Also sent one of these. I had an extra of these that were unsigned, these team-issued photo cards. And he signed the index card. I'm being honest with you. I've probably sent him ten times over the years. I'd never remember him signing the index card. Now, i got to go a little bit quicker, as my camera will not let me go past, like, 12 minutes, 45 seconds. Three of three, 16 days. Second time ever receiving back, but this is not Team 90s. Neither was Dave Justy. We got Johnny Miller. Looks like that's a full version of his last name. He gave me shorthand versions of his last name. Just kind of happened to notice that as I was getting ready to do this video. Next up, two of two, 17 days. So we have a bunch of um, first-timers with Johnny Miller and E.J. Fister, who got a sloppy yet really nice-looking autograph. First time ever sending to him. And we got two more, both golfers. One of two. This person did not sign the generic autograph card. And that's all right. Blaine McAllister. Those generic autograph cards are great for trying to get a second autograph because sending just one card out really isn't all that great if it's somebody that you're not that big of a fan of. But I can respect it for sure. Five of five, 17 days. Last return of the week. This person racks them up. So it did not bother me. There's your Team 90s right there. So that was my ninth point for the week. David Toms. I don't really send out too often like this, but uh, I had a lot of nice cards of him. He racks them up. So instead of four, instead of sending four, I did five. A little smudge there, and that's all right. So very cool looking cards from David Toms. So there you go. Take care, everybody.